I want to be a pilot. I want to become a teacher. I want to become a princess. I want to become a businessman. I want to become a doctor. Every child has a dream to pursue and the path of life he chooses is to reach this goal. But for some it is not just about choosing the path. It is also about overcoming obstacles before you can be sure of the path. And this journey is what we are about to experience. I see words and numbers as patterns uh, in the same way that I'll see a painting. That was where more issues came up. Dominic was bullied. They used to think I'm, I'm not concentrating enough or not working hard enough. They put me for tuitions, they used to ground me when I used to get bad marks in math and they didn't obviously have like no clue about this dyslexia. So there's trouble at home and there's trouble at school. Nobody seems to understand him. The fate and the, and the future of a child's life is your hands, so just be kind and treat them with some compassion and love. For one third of your life, all you're expected to do is perform well in academics. And that is exactly what a dyslexic child fails to do. And he is termed stupid, because no one knows what exactly the problem is. Technically, uh, dyslexia has been defined as a neurological or a processing disorder that affects all areas of language. Uh, the language component is affected and this in turn affects things like reading, writing, oral speaking sometimes, listening skills um, and it also crosses over uh, in, uh, in some cases in the area of mathematics. The most important thing that we look for is whether the child has normal or average intelligence whether the child has adequate opportunities for learning, that is uh, opportunities for education, uh, st adequate stimulation, that is proper schooling, support from parents. Then we look at the child's motivation level, the child is motivated to learn. And if all these are present and then the child continues to have difficulty in either reading or writing or in other forms of learning like in mathematics, uh, ma mathematic operations specifically, then only we would consider a specific learning disability. Primarily confused with late learners, dyslexia could sometimes really sneak up on you and go undiagnosed. Well, the thing with dyslexia is that it is hard to detect. And um, in fact, a slow learner is easy to detect because he's slow in all areas of functioning. So a slow learner you could detect because he, you know, he's, uh, he's not able to understand, his comprehension is delayed. But with a student, with, with a child with dyslexia, uh, the difficulty lies that they sometimes have uh, very strong oral and verbal skills. So the, the most important early indicator now research has pretty much established is um, phonemic awareness. Early warning signs for a child with dyslexia. He's late to talk. That's the first thing. When he was about one and a half years old, we found him... Um, like he's not talking as other normal children so we, we found you know like something not in the right place he's not talking like you know normal uh, children unfortunately they detected then told us you know to, to consult with a you know uh, child uh, specialist uh, that is uh, dr onita nakra and uh, she um, we consulted with her and she said uh, uh, he should also you know tested the rajat for various capabilities at that age what he can do what he cannot do 
uh, whether he can speak uh, coherently or not he can understand certain things or not um, then she found out you know like uh, things are not in right place according to his age secondly he is unable to concentrate he is unable to hold his pencil his grip is not like of a normal child with the thumb and the four finger support Uh, he confuses basic words like for dog he says log or for walls he says saw he confuses basic words also he has other emotional problems he cannot play with other children he is very impulsive he is very sensitive he has poor coordination he can't do simple things like tying his shoelace or even uh, blowing his nose and that becomes difficult for a child and he does not have emotional and social maturity i'm dyslexic as well many writers are dyslexic and i was taking a poll just before you came to ask that question and there's quite a few best selling english um authors who are dyslexic and i wondered if maybe because we've struggled so much with words it's made us more interested in them well my husband is also dyslexic So um Dominic really didn't have a fighting chance in that sense. Um did we we were aware that it was a strong possibility that he would be. But interestingly enough neither of our other two children are. Dom is 16. He's currently sitting his GCSEs. Uh, he's at school in England. He was born in England but has traveled around the world and when we were living here in Dubai the first time he moved back to go to England to go to boarding school at that stage. I suppose the only the earlier sign that was noticeable is Dominic never crawled. He went straight to walking at 11 months. And that is a key sign of dyslexia we now know. Um because it takes more coordination to crawl than it does to walk. Later on when he goes to school the difficulties he encounters are he cannot write he finds writing task very difficult and tiring. but if you ask him orally he will score full marks on that he loves to skip homework not because he's lazy but because homework becomes a very tedious task after school for a child with dyslexia because he's tired the whole day trying to keep on par with other classmates once he went to school from the first time it became even more apparent that 